Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name is Cougar and this is another episode from our Amazon review series. Now, just to mention in the very beginning of this, uh, this one was actually requested by one of the sellers on Amazon. Uh, they had appreciated seeing some of the other content that I have put out and they asked me to review one of their products. Now, obviously this is a fairly plain looking box. Uh, it's uh, The box itself is actually kind of pretty it's uh, it kind of has a pearl look a very luminous kind of white luminous type look to it uh, and uh, you know let's go ahead not not mess around too much and I'll get into some of the information about it and everything as we go along as you can see here this is a gun scope or rifle scope it can actually be used on both uh, and I mean that as a gun being a shotgun with a smooth bore and of course a rifle having a rifle barrel now, this is actually just a red-green dot scope. Uh, so you have the red or green color that you can select uh, through the area here with all the controls and everything. And uh, you, of course, set it up with your different windage knobs and your elevation knobs here. And of course, they're not actually knobs. They are the screws, which is very standard. Uh, let's see, screw it. Yeah unscrew the sides here and there you go there's your there's your uh, windage knob there and the elevation knob uh, of course looks the same uh, this is uh, of course set up like I said for either a rifle or a shotgun and it does have this cantilever here which gives it a little bit of height uh, so you're not planted straight down against the uh, the barrel of of the uh, gun or rifle that you're using. It is able to go on a 20 millimeter, uh, I believe it's Weaver or a, uh, let's see, Picatinny. Uh, I may be saying that wrong. I always call it a pick rail. It does have a nut here on the side with an adjustment to uh, tighten it up. Uh, you can uh, put a wrench on that. I'm gonna guess that's probably about a 3 8 inch size uh, that you can put on there. Um, my suggestion is if you put a wrench on here, maybe use an, a, an adjustable wrench and uh, put a piece of cloth over that so you don't uh, pull off any of that black coating that's on there. Uh, it does use a standard CR2032 battery, same kind of battery that's in, say, a computer system board um, and is used for most uh, lighted scopes and sights. As we can see here, it did come with the CR2032 battery. It came with a couple of uh, different Allen wrenches. Uh, the cantilever here does have uh, the way that it mounts onto the scope itself. It is a uh, it is a tube style, and it uses uh, these six hex bolts on the top. Uh, there is also, of course, as you can see, the end covers, which will flip open for you nice thing also that is a nice little additional feature is they added on a set of basically iron sights now of course obviously these aren't standard iron sights because it does have a fiber optic section at the front here so it does make it and I'm not sure how well yet I think you can see that little bit of a glow every once in a while when I move it around but that is right here uh, and uh, it's it is a red or a very pale red I should say I'm looking through it here and it's def it's a clear view this is only a 1x magnification so there is not any actual magnification uh, just like many uh, you know red or green dot uh, scopes or sights uh, they don't it doesn't have any magnification uh, it does use a 30 millimeter aperture which is also set up for uh, I believe it is 50 degree um, field of view so when you're looking through it uh, of course the length of this now if this were to be longer that that would of course decrease um, and something I do want to mention of course I am NOT a uh, professional I have studied this stuff a little bit so you know don't don't assume that I'm gonna know everything if you do want to learn more about scopes and everything I do obviously encourage you to go look that up 
Uh, you can take maybe some of the information that I get and then kind of expand upon it. Now, as you can see here at the front end, uh, this is a waffle, kind of, or actually more like a honeycomb looking thing here. Uh, and according to the, uh, the site on Amazon, that is actually for um, reduced uh, glare and reflection, uh, of which I can actually see how it works a little bit. Uh, anything coming in from the side, uh, if you've ever used a camera and you've seen the sun streaks coming in down from the side, something like this is definitely going to help you with that. It's very much like um, a sunshade for a camera lens or something like that. Of course, you can still see through it. Um, you do see that waffle pattern and everything, but it's not so uh, uh, intrusive that uh, it, it makes it difficult to see maybe what you're aiming at. Something like this for maybe a one or even 200 yard shot with say a shotgun or something like that, I think this would work fairly well. So anyhow, uh, it is a full uh, metal body. Uh, the cantilever is is all metal. This of course is all done in a matte black. The covers here are plastic of course and uh, the iron sights here they do have uh, an elevation uh, adjustment here on the sides as well as uh, some or on the top here I guess and then on the sides would be the one for your uh, your windage. Now this is mounted on here on the back it does have the uh, Allen wrench uh, hex head there. So uh, it is a tube style clamp, just like the cantilever. It is only using one on either side instead of three. If you want to, you can take this, uh, this honeycomb uh, anti-glare piece out. It does unscrew here, uh, very long threads, and they are fine. So just be careful with that. You don't want, if you don't want to uh, ruin the threads, uh, don't bear down on it because you could easily uh, rip fine threads like this out. Uh, and then you can see obviously a very shiny clean uh, optic in, inside there. It does have um, a little bit of tinting to it and everything so I'm thinking that is also a little bit for uh, they usually put the the coatings on the glass to help relieve um, relieve some of the glare and things like that so but uh, we'll go ahead and spin that back down in there uh, it does have two little notches here so if you were to um, tighten it down I'm just going to do finger tight basically just like it was there we go so it doesn't want to rattle out and I'll go ahead and put the, uh, the side back or the uh, cover back on here this one because of the zero magnification and it being a dot scope rather than a telescope uh, it has an infinite uh, eye relief so you can have this mounted uh, forward on your shotgun and not have to worry about that kickback coming back and basically giving you a black eye uh, now as you can see it came with these products here did clean with the, come with a cleaning cloth there is uh, some basic instructions here uh, they talk about right here um, the uh, different pieces, the lens caps, and uh, and the, then the fact that it has the battery housing here. They talk about the this is a push button switch. Um, there are two of them here. Uh, I believe one is for the red dot, and then one is for the green dot. And so instead of sitting there clicking a knob, you just click the button. And it does have multiple levels of brightness, just like any standard uh, dot sight or scope would have. Uh, on this one, of course, all you do is just click the button multiple times. And to power it off, you just click it until it powers off. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I've uh, grabbed a shotgun that I've got right here. Uh, I've been doing some modifications to it, and I still got some, some more things to do. But uh, we'll go ahead and see how this looks. Uh, in terms of getting this on here and uh, seeing how it kind of situates on the gun and uh, you know what uh, what kind of the ease would be maybe if it uh, seems to be setting high because of the cantilever or if it looks like it's going to be okay which I think it's going to be okay because this cantilever isn't really all that tall. Alright so there we go. Let's 
what it looks like on the gun. And uh, got the ends opened up. You can see the way that it's set up here and everything. Looking down through it, this does seem to track reasonably well. While the iron sights on the top, they are they are nice standard hold. It kind of sets you down a little too far for the iron sights on this. So that's something that you want to uh, take into consideration. It works well, like I said, it does have the seven the seven brightnesses for both the red and the green. It is nice that it does have the fiber optic style iron sights. Um, it does have, of course, full adjustability with your windage and elevation uh, adjustments, both for the, uh, the uh, dots for the red and green and for the uh, iron sights. It does seem to be a pretty nice one. So if you guys are in the market for a uh, red or green dot sight. Uh, this this could be a this could definitely be a good buy. If, you know, it's up to you. If you guys like this, if you think it's a a good a good one, go for it. Uh, like I said, the link is down there on the uh, for the Amazon site. And uh, of course, you know, obviously, while you're down there, don't forget to hit our social media and everything. And uh, you know, there's always that thumbs up and that uh, subscribe button which uh, there'll be one popping around here along with the videos, some other suggested videos uh, here at the end of this one. And uh, you guys can check those. When you hit that subscribe button, of course, don't forget to hit that bell icon. Make sure that you're notified of when new videos come out and everything. My name is Cougar. Uh, this is another episode from the, the Amazon review series here on World of Me. I would like to wish all of you a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.